He's got big eyebrows, so his name is Martin Scorsese. Oh, a director's dream cat. All right, we've got James and Martin Scorsese here for the interview. Scorsese, look at Martin, you're in an interview. Hey, buddy. (laughs) I'm so excited to talk to you about your new film, Survive the Game. How excited are you that it's finally getting released? I am super stoked. I, I, I can't wait for people to see it. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a wild ride. I, I really want uh, people to have fun and enjoy the movie. Oh, they will, for sure. And I looked at your collection of movies. You're a very seasoned director. You do a lot of horror. You do action. You do some horror comedy in there. But you wrote a lot of those. And now you're kind of taking a break from writing. And I want to know what in these scripts jumps out at you that makes you want to join a project? You know, uh, this script in particular, I I really, uh, I really um, uh, thought was really fun because, uh, you know, I, it was like a throwback to like the movies of the nineties, like the action movies of the nineties. And I really, like, those are the action movies I grew up on. So I was like, man, I really want to make sorry, like my cat's hair got all over my nose. (laughs) Um, <laughs> all good, uh, all good. but, but uh, uh you know those are the kind of movies i really want to make um so you know I, I i like doing stuff that's like throwbacks to the stuff like i grew up on so i thought it was like you know like it harked back to like joel silver's movies and like the stuff mm-hmm. of like you know um you know the uh, um, <laughs> uh like demolition man like it had the same kind of attitude of that and like the funness of it and and so i i just i just really like that and as far as like you know me writing like i've kind of taken a break from writing uh i i I used to write all the time, um, you know, quite a bit actually. Um, but, uh, you know, my dad was a writer. He passed away two years ago. Um, and I, uh, him and I, before he passed away, were writing a script together. Uh, and I haven't been able to finish it. And I don't feel right writing something else until I finish right. that. So uh, instead of stopping making movies in general, I've, I've started doing uh, other people's scripts uh, until I kind of get that, that flame under me again to, to write again. Well, I'm so sorry for your loss again. I mean, I, 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 I hope one day we get to see that script and I know it's going to be amazing. So. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much, babe. I'm, I'm waiting for that day. I'm waiting for it. But <laughs> I, I want to know from the director's mind, if you're explaining this movie and you're giving an elevator pitch, because this is a pretty complex action-packed movie, what would you say this movie is about and why your audience should see it. I mean, the pitch that I have is it's nonstop action. I mean, it's basically this cat and mouse nonstop action movie. Uh, And it's, you know, basically think of it like this. Chad Michael Murray falls asleep, he wakes up and an action movie shows up on his front lawn. Wait, hold on, scratch that. It shows up in the middle of his his living room, in his kitchen. Kitchen, it It is. is, is, And and when I say like an action movie, like I'm saying like an actual action movie, not like a bunch of people just showing up. Like think like the last action hero, like characters larger than life from an actual action movie, like, you know, wind up in his house. Like the way I looked at it is like, you know, it's almost like, you know, that that like that dream that you have where you're the lead character of an action yes. movie. Like, that's what this movie is. Like, it's like if you wanted to like see a movie that's like the dreams that some of you guys have had, like, you know, at night when you go to sleep watching too many action movies. That's what this is. And it's uh, it's nonstop action, nonstop w- wild stuff. There's some cliches in it and some laughs, but that's all on purpose. It's all a throwback to the movies we all grew up on and love. And, uh, and it has a rocking soundtrack with like, you know, DMX, Junior Wells, a lot of really cool stuff in there that I think uh, people will really enjoy. Yes, for sure. I'm sold. You sold me on your elevator pitch. I've already watched it, but you sold me to watch it again. So. Yeah, it was, it was a long elevator. It was a very long elevator. Yeah, we were going up to like the 10th floor. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I didn't say how many floors. <laughs> you can do however much you want. But yeah. speaking of, like you said, Chad Michael Murray is in this movie and you gave me a duo I didn't know I needed on my screen. We've got <laughs> Chad Michael Murray and Bruce Willis in an action film. I was like, I didn't know I needed this, but I'm yeah. so glad you gave it to me. So what part did you have in that casting process? You know, I'm very lucky that uh, that uh, Randall Emmett and George Furla, the producers of the film, have worked with both Chad and Bruce before. So they had a great relationship with them um, and stuff. But I, I'm so lucky I got them. Uh, you know, Bruce is awesome. Chad is so cool. One of the nicest people I've ever met. 
Uh, he's just like such a such a team player. He really cares about the work and the quality of the film and giving a good performance. And uh, and he's just like an all around great dude. Um, you know, him and I have remained very close since making uh, that movie in Fortress together. And uh, and uh, and Chad is just a, a rock star. I love that guy. That guy's awesome to work with. And uh, I think he's really fun in the movie. He has and, you know, Chad and Bruce, I feel like compete for like my two favorite lines in the movie. Because I like uh, Chad when he's like, this is my farm and like shoots the shotgun. Yep, yep. Uh, and then, or like Bruce is like, you know, I got shot today and I'm tied up. Like I thought <laughs> that was, I thought that was pretty funny too. Uh, but Bruce uh, or, or how Bruce just keeps randomly turning to the guy over and over again and going, you know, I'm going to kill you, right? You like, know, I'm going to kill you, right? <laughs> I'm oh like, my God. Yeah. So I think Bruce and a lot of Bruce threw in some ad libs and stuff like Bruce was so much fun to work with. He's a, uh, you know, he's obviously he's got decades of experience and, uh, and, uh, you know, I think he, he brings a lot of, uh, like comedy and flavor to this movie. And I think Bruce's movies are best when they're the ones that like, don't take themselves too seriously. And I think that's what this movie does. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a fun action movie. And I, I, I think that, you know, and it, when I say nonstop action, it really is like from the jump, like it, it's nonstop. You, you got a shootout, then a car chase, then a fight scene, then a car chase, oh. then a shootout. Like it's, it's like, it doesn't stop. There's not a lot of talking in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have too many lines to memorize, but they had a lot of action <laughs> sequences to memorize there for sure. Yeah. And I was going to say, I'm interviewing Simon Phillips, who played alongside Bruce, and he posted a picture on his Instagram and said, teenage me would be so proud uh, and I'm yeah. just thinking like just thinking back whenever he was a teenager that he would be holding Bruce Willis captive yeah you know? so, dude Simon is great he was wonderful to work with he also stole my quote from Instagram because that's what I posted when we were filming the movie I posted don't let him take that from I, you I, stole it. I, I posted a picture of, uh, of, of Bruce and said teenage me is high-fiving uh, adult me but uh oh i'm calling was, him out in our you should, you should tell him tell him i said that Steve. i'm calling him out i'm gonna show him this clip and we're calling him out. you should you show him this clip please i will but, I, but also show him the clip that simon is hilarious he's a wonderful actor he's great to work with i love that guy he is he's awesome um and simon uh simon was he, he was just a lot of fun and, and you know uh, he uh, you know we dressed him in the in, in that like guy Ritchie type outfit which is so funny because actually so zach ward uh, who plays Mickey. Um, yep. uh, he's a very close friend of mine. He bought me that outfit that Simon wears for Christmas. Oh. Um, and then, and then, and then I gave it to Simon as his wardrobe for the movie. And like halfway through the movie, Zach's like, why does that look familiar? And I was like, um, you're like, uh, uh, like, uh, like oh you no, uh, you gave me for Christmas. He's wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> was he kidding whenever he gave it to you for Christmas or was he being serious? You know, I never know with Zach. I don't know if he's being serious <laughs> or if he's kidding. I, I, I have absolutely no clue. But it was funny because Simon would always like now, like anytime I've seen Simon since then, he like, like he kept the wardrobe. So he like shows up wearing it. And I'm like, oh, oh you're so, he's so silly. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, edit English are so silly in that movie. It's, it's so much fun fun watching them banter and like the silly stuff that's I, going on with them. I was going to tell you, so you've done a whole bunch of like horror and some horror comedy in the past and stuff like that, but I want to see you do a, a lot more comedy because those are my favorite parts. Like, would you do a deep dive into comedy? Or oh no? yeah, give me, yeah, I'm totally, I love comedy. I'm I'm, I, I, I love to laugh. I love, the problem is it's like, I, then I definitely have to do somebody else's script because I'm really good at <laughs> like knowing what's funny, but I'm just right. not funny. And that's part I, of what I loved about this movie is, you know, we got to do something that was like fun and silly. Uh, it's been like a dark couple of years, like, you know, with what's going on in the world, like, why not do stuff that's more fun, silly, get out there, have fun. Like, it doesn't need to be a serious, sad time at the movies right now. Like, it needs to be like a, hey, tune in, drop out, do something fun. And that's what we tried to do with this one. Yeah. Well, speaking of something quite funny and cute, we have all of your cats. So yeah. I'm curious, I did a quick sweep on your Instagram and quickly found out how much you love your cats and how they edit the films with you and do things like that. <laughs> so I'm curious, why are you holding them back from the big screen? Like I'm looking for farm cat, the extra, and they just like run across the screen or something. Like so, that. so I couldn't afford Martin's day rate. You know what I mean? Oh, like no. day rate was too high. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a little, you know, he's a, and he, you know, he wanted all these, 
he wanted all these script rewrites. You know, he didn't. He wanted me to change the language. Oh, okay. He wanted, he wanted to change it to to cat. Well, um, you need to tell him to. Yeah, he had to dial it back. That. You know? Yeah, and, and then also, you know, he did. He did put on like you know, like the COVID fifteen. So like you know, once oh. once he once he kind of like you know trims back down, I'll put him on screen. No, uh, to be <laughs> honest, um, for real, like uh. I, I would love to sneak one of my cats in the movie. Oh, so uh, he's good. terrified of everybody that isn't me. So, oh, no. uh, so, so I think <laughs> if I would, he might have a heart attack yeah. if we have like a bunch of people there. He, like he's, you know, he's just sitting on the floor oh. staring at me right over there. But he's, uh, you know, that's little Martin Scorsese. He's, uh, he's adorable. I'm telling you, in one of your future films, I'm going to be <laughs> looking for Martin. I, 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 I got to put him in. I got to put him in. He's a good cat. He's a good yeah. cat. <laughs> and I have my, my final thing is I want to make sure I get the message right from this film. The one thing that we should all take away moral of the story is we should all have insurance, right? Yeah, exactly. Of course. That's, that's the way. Exactly. That's the, this was, this was one really, really big Geico commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that oh my gosh just use bruce willis at the end and then it's like geico like that would be so great um, i i mean thank you so much for talking to me it's been so fun i hope i get to talk to you again soon when is fortress coming out when are all your future projects so, so fortress we don't have a date yet but I'm sure I'll be back on here uh, very soon to talk with you about Fortress. Actually, yeah. after I wrap up all these interviews today, I'm, I'm wrapping the sound mix at the end of the day for Fortress. So we're, we're finishing up post on it like today. I'm really excited to see Fortress coming soon, but we're really excited about Survive the Game coming out October 8th. And I hope everyone rents it wherever you can rent movies on demand and support our man James here. So thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much. And more importantly, please show me Simon's reaction to calling him out. Oh, on I will. Okay, so I'll get this edited. <laughs> the interview is Monday. I'll send it to you Monday. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, James.